Hey guys, this is the Epic Gamer Boy here, and today we're gonna see what happens if you leave devices out in a rain. So, here are some devices that I'm gonna be leaving it out in the rain with me. We got an iPod, we got an iPad 2 that is iCloud locked, and we got an iPod Touch 4th gen that that won't restore that won't restore and that goes onto like the iTunes recovery screen, but like won't restore. It's dead right now, but. I've tried to restore it and it keeps giving me errors. So yeah, the iPad 2 is iCloud locked and the iPod Touch 4 gen just won't restore no matter how how I tried. And the iPod Touch 4 gen is only 8 gigabyte. So uh, yeah, and I can also prove to you that this iPad is iCloud locked. If you, yep, it's iCloud locked. Okay, so. I'm gonna do this kind of carefully. <laughs> oh my goodness! I put my, I put the iPod on the iPad and I already typed up some words. Okay, I'm gonna try not to get my phone wet. I just need to put it. There we go. And I'm gonna come back in like a few hours. Okay guys, it's been about like two hours right now. Well, I just had to like check. I just had to like check on the devices right now since it's kind of, since, the, since I noticed the rain is like, it's like falling down and stopping, so. We're gonna check on the devices and see how well they did. So let's take a look. You probably saw in those pictures of of the iPad, like. Oh my goodness! Also, yes, the rain did kind of stop. It's but the wind is still strong. Let me get back inside. Yeah. As you can see, the iPad is like freaking out, and I'm gonna go dry them off, and I'll be right back with. Okay guys, here's the result from like the devices here. Now, the iPod seems like didn't really feel like there's not really like much water inside, but the iPad is like, <laughs> you can see it, it's like severely crazy. The iPad is definitely water damaged from this result. I'm trying to get as much water out of here. I'm trying to like push it to like squeeze the water. And yeah, here's the result from this. Also, before I charge them, I'm gonna clean the charging ports. Okay, so I'm actually seeing stuff on the iPad. Okay, so the iPad seems like it's dead on charge from the from these water getting in. It looks like, and the iPod. Oh yeah, the iPod actually died before I before this video. We're gonna charge them up and see how see which one actually goes well, which one actually survived well, so if this thing will charge. Oh my god, the iPod's actually booting up. <laughs> okay, so the iPod is... So the iPod actually survived in the rain for over two hours, and like no water seems to be getting in. I mean, this is all I could really get out of it because it won't restore. What if I unplug, unplug it and it also holds a charge? That's the thing. What about the iPad? The iPad seems... Also, you can definitely see like severe water in the screen. I still want to plug in the iPad and test out if it works or not. So... Damn. Is it because the i oh <laughs> the, the iPod activated the power button on its own? Or uh, it must have died. Hold on, I need to get these water out. Okay, the iPad, um so for some reason after after I 
I I take it out from the rain. I still see it like showing life of it, of the iPad like freaking out and then showing the low battery charge screen. And then and then after doing like a, a force reset to it, um it like completely died on me. This iPad like completely died on me. So I guess so I guess so I guess so for this I guess so for this test the iPod seemed to like won because the because the iPad like completely died and and it's not really showing anything. I tried charging it. Um and the iPod is actually and the iPod actually like still works after the rain. So yeah, I think I think probably because iPads are I think probably because because iPads are kind of big, that's probably why like that's probably why like water can get in iPads kind of easily. Or or is it probably just because this? Or is it probably just because probably because this is an iPad too? Hmm. Also, this iPod just died on charge. Just died on charge. I don't think this iPad's gonna work for now. You can definitely see the water on the screen. Okay, so it looks like for this test, the iPad is completely done for. Like, it's not showing any signs of life soon, but it should like come back, come back to life in like a few days if I just like leave it. But the iPod actually still works after leaving it in the rain. That's actually so. That's actually amazing. <laughs> So, so for this challenge, the iPod actually won. That's actually amazing. So, so anyway, guys, this is it for this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right. One last thing for this, for for this, I want to say is that I actually is that I'm starting to see the iPod actually activating the power button itself. And it's like bringing the the battery screen. So, I mean, the iPod is still the winner since the iPod at least worked. The iPod pad is like completely dead and stuff. That's all I just want to say. The iPod still works.